Before we get started into our training sessions, I wanted to have you work a small project that's going to incorporate some of the basic functions of AutoCAD. Don't worry about understanding everything you see here, it's okay. This project is only meant as a sort of icebreaker, like the activity at the opening of a party to help all the guests get to know each other. That's what I want to do here. So you're going to see a lot of different things thrown at you and it may be overwhelming. That's okay. I just want you to see kind of what you're going to be doing when you're working with AutoCAD. Now, all of the things that we're going to do, we will touch on them in detail later on, one item at a time. So to get started, turn on AutoCAD if you haven't already. Go to the new option here on your welcome screen and click on the ACAD DWT. And then click open. This will bring up a brand new file for you and you can click on it and move it to wherever you want, resize it, that's okay. Now what we're going to do is just draw a few things, some lines, some boxes, arcs, etc. One of the things you'll see is the status bar. And on it, I want to make sure that our dynamic input is turned on. And that's by clicking here. If these boxes are blue, that means the feature is turned on. So I want you to click here. This one's called ortho mode. I want you to turn that on. And the dynamic input, I also want you to turn on. And we're going to start by drawing a rectangle. Click on the arrow to open up the different options. Click on drafting. Come over here. This is a rectangle command. And it's literally there to help you draw a rectangle. So anywhere on your screen, just left click. When you want to insert a point or select an object in AutoCAD, you will left click. Drag your mouse over to the right and down a little bit and type in these numbers, five zero, because this rectangle will be 50 units wide. Press the tab key, type in three zero or 30. Now it will be 30 units tall. Press return. Now the line is up here. We want it centered on our screen. So double click on your scroll wheel on your mouse. That's called a zoom extents. It zooms out so that all of your items are centered and displayed on your screen. So everything in your drawing will be shown there. Your scroll wheel on your mouse also helps you to zoom in or out. So scroll back and then scroll in. So it's a zoom in or out. Your scroll wheel will also help you by pressing it and holding it. This will execute a pan. We'll talk about all of those commands later on. So a lot of times you're going to be scrolling in and out and panning and double clicking on the scroll wheel to navigate through your drawing file. Now we're going to offset this rectangle. Type the letters OF for offset. Press return and type in 0 0.5. Press return. Now remember to pick an object, you move your mouse over it. And you'll see it'll highlight left click and it will be selected. Move your mouse towards the center of this rectangle to offset it inside and left click again. Press return to finish off that command. So pressing return will finish a command. And if I press return again, it will restart the last command that I did. In this case, it's offset. Press the escape key to cancel out a command. Sometimes you might have to hit it a couple of times. Over the years, I've just developed the habit of pressing escape key two or three times automatically. We're going to draw a line. You can come over here to your toolbars and go to line. Zoom in somewhere over here, pan around, just so it looks a little bit like this. It doesn't need to be anything exact. We're going to use what's called an object snap. Type in the letters NEA, press return. Now this makes sure that when you draw, you snap to an object as defined. And this one specifically is called nearest. So it just picks the nearest point to your cursor on this line that it can find. And you'll see that little green hourglass looking thing that's called a glyph. That tells you that you're going to snap to the nearest point. So left click. Now make sure your ortho is on. It should be. We turned it on earlier, but if it isn't, you'll know right away because when your ortho is on, no matter where you put your mouse, your lines are only going to be straight up and down or straight left and right, horizontal or vertical. To turn that on, press the F8 key. That'll toggle it on and off. Or you can come down to your status bar and click on this button right here. It looks sort of like the right angle symbol for a triangle. Once that's turned on, move your mouse up to the top and left click. Press return. So we've drawn a line. Now type in the letter O again for offset. Press return. This time type in 3. Press return. Select this line. Move it to the left. You can see there's a little bit of a preview no matter where you move your mouse to. So go to the left and left click again and press return. So we drew this line and we offset it. Offset makes a parallel copy at a set distance of your objects you've selected. Now we're going to trim these lines. Type in the word trim, T-R-I-M, press return. Use a crossing selection window. You do that by left clicking 
an open space here where there's nothing left click when you move your mouse to the left and down it makes a green dashed box that is a crossing window anytime anything crosses through this window it will be selected and you can see it's being selected because the objects are highlighting as i select them now if i move to the right and up it makes a selection window and it's blue and solid objects inside it have to be completely inside it to be selected so go to the left and down and left click press return now we're going to click each of these lines and you can also select these items with a crossing or selection window. This time we're going to do a crossing, left click, and come down and pick it. And there we just trim these lines. That's very basic, but this is the type of work you're going to do over and over again. Now we're going to draw some more lines. Start the line command. You can type in the word line, press return, type in MID, midpoint O snap, press enter, zoom in over here. And the midpoint O snap glyph looks like a triangle. Left click, and then zoom out again, draw your line to the left, type in a value 25, press enter. We just drew a horizontal line 25 feet long. Now type in PER, press return, move your mouse down from there, and this will draw a perpendicular line to the other one. Left click on it to select it, press enter when you are finished. And that's another line that we drew. Now I want to draw a circle. C for circle, press return. Type END for endpoint, press return. Snap to this endpoint here. And we're going to draw a circle radius of five units. Type in the number five, press return. And there we drew a circle with a radius of five units. Okay, now this was extremely basic exercise that we did here, but I want to show you one more thing, and that's some text. Type MT. For multi line text, press return and click up at the top here. With this window, just kind of stretch it out to the right and down just a little bit. Doesn't really matter where. Left click again and type in this is the best training video ever. When you're finished, click on the save button up top. This is a contextual menu, it will pop up whenever you're working with text. Click save and zoom in, and there's the text. So we're going to talk about all the features about text that you can do, and we'll even get into dimensions, and we're going to talk about things about layers and with different properties. So this was just an icebreaker exercise. We did a lot of different little things, but once you are finished with this training video, these things that you have seen here will be very basic to you and will come automatically.